Hey everybody, it's Wonderbra, and I want to do a quick video on how to use Simulation Craft and Pawn to see whether or not gear is an upgrade. This is going to cover basic gear pieces, not trinkets. I have another video that will cover how to simulate trinkets and how to compare trinkets. So to get started with Simulation Craft, there's a couple things you're going to need. You're going to need the actual software. You can download that here at Simulations web, Simulation Craft's website. Um, this is our landing page. You go to Downloads. You've got two options. I prefer using the Windows Nightly Builds. That's this link here. And you're looking for SimC Setup uh, Win64.exe. This will have an installer. The seven zips are just zip file versions of it. Use the installer. It makes life easier. If you don't necessarily want to be up to date and you want to have a more stable program or the Windows build isn't working for you for whatever reason, you can use the 64-bit um, installer here, the link on the right side, and that'll download that. Go ahead and install that. It should look something like this once it's installed. Now we'll need a couple more things. We need the Simulation Craft data import add-on. That can be found on Curse. There'll be a link in the description of the video. This allows us to quickly get the simulation profile and not have to rely on Battle.net being up to date. And the next thing is Pawn. This is the add-on that will let you see whether or not something's an upgrade um, when gear drops. That way you don't have to sim pieces of gear in between pulls. No raid leader wants that. Um, this is a very good add-on if it shows that it's a, a you know two, two or more percent increase um, damage-wise on the item it's probably probably is and this will make your life much easier so first thing we're going to do after you've installed SimCraft go ahead and pause the video and do that if you haven't already okay so we've got SimCraft installed there's some options that we're going to need to set so we're going to go in here to options and we're going to make sure that iterations is set to 10,000 that'll give us more accurate stat weights that's the information that pawn needs to tell you whether or not gear is an upgrade Fight length, 300 is good. Um, that's about 5 minutes, which is pretty normal for a raid boss fight. Uh, and fight style should be patchwork. Okay. Next, you need to do is go over here to the scaling tab. Enable scaling. If it's not already enabled, it shouldn't be if you just installed it for the first time. So go ahead and enable that. And then down here where it says toggle all character stats, you're going to want to check that box. Okay. With all that done we now need to generate a simulation profile. So we're going to use the simulation craft add-on for World of Warcraft to get that information. Okay, now that you have the simulation craft add-on installed, all you have to do is type in the command slash sim c, and this will come up. Now, copy and paste, it's already selected, so just hit control C and select that text, get that uh, in your clipboard, and then go ahead and tab back over to Simulation Craft. Okay, now we're back in Simulation Craft, and we're going to go to the Simulate tab. And as you can see, I've already copied the information here, but if you haven't done that, um, you go to the Simulate tab where you open up a new one. I'm going to open up a new one here. And then just go ahead and do a Control A, select everything that's in there, and then a Control V to paste it in and then hit the simulate button down at the bottom right hand corner. I have already taken the time to do that and I will give you the results here. So this is the results for the sim that I just did on my shaman. As you can see it has all the talents that I've picked, it has my artifact traits and everything and then down here because we enabled scaling it'll give me an idea of what DPS contribution I have from each stat. So as you can tell, because this is an enhancement shaman, weapon DPS is important, um, followed by agility, mastery, attack power, haste, versatility, crit, and then offhand weapon DPS. These numbers, like this 1406 for weapon DPS, they have to do with the sim DPS number. Basically, every point of weapon DPS is increasing my DPS by 14.06 DPS. Um, you multiply all the stats out and you'll end up with this number here. So why is that important? Well the add-on pawn will use that information to allow us to see how much of an upgrade a piece of gear is. Now the pawn uses this little line right down here where it says pawn string. You're going to 
you're going to want to grab the parentheses on either end of that. And then we're going to hit Control C. And then I'm going to go ahead and tab back over to the game and show you where you need to put that in. Okay, we're back in WoW, and we're going to go ahead and type in the command slash pawn. Now, if this is your first time using pawn, you need to go down to the scale tab and set manual to let you manage the scale weights. If you've already done this, don't worry about it, but um, as long as it's set to manual, you'll be able to do this. So, what you'll do is you'll go to import, or you can create a new scale. Um, but anyway, go into import, hit control V to paste it in there. Now go to the beginning of it, go to the beginning of that line, because we want to have a label on this. It's not just our character name. So I'm going to take my shaman's name and I'm going to put underscore ENH for enhancement. And I'm going to hit OK. And I have this old scale that I don't really want anymore. So I'm going to click on that one and I'm going to go to scale and I'm going to hit delete or I can just uncheck the show the scale and two tooltips either way so I'm gonna go ahead and just delete that one and I'm gonna type in delete and hit okay okay so now when I go into my bags I'll be able to see if an item is an upgrade and you'll see a tooltip so for example these gloves are a four percent upgrade so I should probably look into seeing why that is and I think it's because it has a socket and my current gloves don't um, the real important thing is for raid loot. So if I go to the dungeon journal and I go to raid, say, um, Trial of Valor, and I look at the loot, I can look at these different items, and here we go. So these boots are a 2% upgrade. And let's try another boss here. Okay. So yeah, so you can see when you get loot, it'll show you whether or not something is an upgrade. There's another 2% upgrade. Uh, Haste Mastery, 860 chess piece would be a 2% upgrade. The other thing you can do is type in slash pawn and go to compare. Open up your bags and let's take this ring here that I have, the, the Kirin Tor ring, and then Band of Fuse Coral will automatically put one in there for me. So I can compare these two, and even though Mastery is one of my best stats, um, because this has crit and haste and has a lot of haste on it, this is actually a better ring than this other one that has a little bit of mastery and a lot of haste, a lot of crit. So that's one of those things that you can do. Um, one thing you have to keep in mind is that this cannot compare trinkets. So if I put this trinket here and I put this other trinket here, it is going to just be looking at the stats. That one has mastery. This one has haste, master is my best stat. It's gonna say that this is my, my best trinket. This trinket actually has absolutely no um, use for enhancement. So that's something to keep in mind that not everything is an upgrade. But that's basically it. I do have another video that shows you how to sim trinkets and I'll have that in the description as well. I hope this was useful to you and um, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Wow!